Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Network Address Translation, otherwise known as NAT. In particular, within NAT, we're going to be taking a look at the feature called NAT Overload, or what is also known as PAT, or Port Address Translation. And what this feature within NAT is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to take one inside global IP address and map many inside local IPs to it. So in this case here, in this example, we have router 1 and 2. They're both connected via fast Ethernet 00 using the 161.0.12.0 slash 30 network. And what we're going to use here, router 1 is going to be performing NAT overload, our PAT, and these addresses here, these loopback, I'm sorry, I have a, let's see, they're all loopback zero. Sorry about that mistake. They're all loopback zero, and then these are all just going to be secondaries, so we'll just put second here. So 1.1's primary, and then 1.2, 4, and 8, they're all secondary. IP addresses. Pretty much going to allow us to mock having more than one, you know, end workstation. So we can have, in this case, we're going to have four within the same subnet. And these addresses here, like I was saying, these addresses are all going to be within the NAT configuration scope. These are called inside local. IPs. And what we're going to do with NAT overload here in this example is we're going to show you how we can get multiple inside local IPs to map to only one inside global IP address. So in this case, we'll map to router 1's faster than at 0, 0 which is the 161.0.12.1 IP address. And the reason again why using this type of implementation within NAT, if you were with me with the first NAT lab, you saw the static one-to-one -one mapping of NAT from you know one inside local to one inside global. But what if your service provider is only giving you one inside global IP address, I'm sorry, one publicly routed IP address to use. And you have hundreds of users on your back end that are all using privately assigned IP addresses. Well, that's the whole point of NAT overload, our PAT. It's going to allow us to take multiple privately routed network IPs so all these private range, class C192.168 range here, 1.1, .1, all these IPs is going to allow us to map to one publicly routed IP address on the internet, which is our 161.0.12.1 IP. So I'm going to pause the video real fast. I'm going to get the router baseline config set up, and then we'll go ahead and set up NAT overload. Okay, so now that I got both router 1 and 2 set up here, what I'm going to do next with you guys is uh, one more thing we got to put in here.